Lord be smart. Thank you, man. I'm number one right here. This is the man um, from a long time. Um, thank you both for that introduction. First of all, it's an honor for us to be here as a team. Uh, I think we may have set a record this time for the number of guys we brought, somewhere around 60 or 70 guys, more than we've ever had, and I hope that continues to grow. We've got an opportunity to come back next Wednesday, and all these guys enjoy doing this. The, the number one thing our players like about it is they get to get up at 6.30 a.m. this morning, and they get to get a little run in, and they get to run before we come, and they get to beat the heat in the afternoon. But each one of these guys is, is so giving, and I thank you players for coming. And when you think about what it means to be able to come to an event like this and have impact, it does way more for our players than it does for anybody here. Um, I do want to share a quick story, and I hope it doesn't uh, take too long. But my brother, who can't be here, and I'm talking about it kills him, the fact he can't be here. He wants to be here, man. He lives in California. He only gets over to Georgia about once a year. And I bet you I've had 100 people come up to me since I got here. How's Carl doing? How's Carl doing? But a lot of them had a lot of impact on my family's life. But I've got a note that was written in 1990. That, uh, my mom sent this note to the board of Camp Sunshine. And I didn't know anything about it, but Carl knew I was coming. So he said, why don't you take this to the... Uh, to the, to the camp and share it with, the, with the, the campers, the people who work here. And this is a good message, okay? Let me introduce myself. My name is Sharon Smart. I'm mother of a 16-year-old son who was diagnosed with leukemia last October 11th. Our lives have changed radically in the last year. Some of the changes have been very, very negative, but some of the changes have been very, very positive. And one of the most positive changes that's taken place in our lives has been the positive acquaintance we have had with Camp Sunshine and all of the people who work the camp and through the camp, all the programs. When Carl, that's my brother, was diagnosed, I spent seemingly endless hours walking the halls of 3 North B up in Eggleston at the nurse's station, and I remember looking at pictures. There was a strange group of pictures of these children that seemed to be totally happy, enjoying themselves um, on some excursion somewhere. I came to find out about Camp Sunshine in June through our nurse. At that time in October, June seemed to be so far away. I didn't know if we'd ever make it. When we came to the hospital each time for our uh, treatment, I would go back and look at these pictures and look at those smiles in the faces. In the spring, Carl got to go on a trip to Washington, D.C. with the Camp Sunshine group. We thought it would be good for him. It gave him an opportunity to make some friends and go some places. Now, here's my favorite part. I, I asked Carl, this is my mother talking, what would you tell, what, what, would you tell me what Camp Sunshine means to you so I can relay it to these people? And he said, well, it's like they gave me a reason to live, a reason to keep going. It's so encouraging to be with people who can understand what you're going through. It's great to be there with someone who's older than you are, and they've lit what you've got, and you can look at them and see they did it, so I know I can do it too. He said it gives younger children the chance to see, old, see the older ones and give the people the opportunity to come together. More than anything, it gives all of us the chance to do some things that we might not ordinarily get to do. It's encouraging to everyone. There's such a feeling of unity and love there. Either the person is going through cancer themselves or they know somebody is and they're there because they love children who have cancer. Carl went on to say that it was just so encouraging for the unity that they all felt together. He made some acquaintances there at the camp that he is still writing those people. He calls those people. It was such a positive influence on him. And in turn, Carl has been positive influence on people in this area. I want to thank you for these opportunities that you have given Carl. The week in June was absolutely super for him. He came back with a Camp t uh, Sunshine t-shirt, which I still remember, which he wears all proud to tell about Camp Sunshine and the, and the love you can experience at Camp Sunshine. I remember he said how strange it is to just look at someone at Camp Sunshine and you know this unity, this closeness. You just hug them and they understand. Not only do you lose your child in a sense when they're diagnosed with this disease like leukemia, but every trip they take, they also grow a little more independent. That's difficult for a mother, especially a mother of a child who has cancer to understand. I'm just glad that he has a chance to do that growing up with such fine people that he comes in contact with all of the Camp Sunshine functions. In the past year, his life has been filled with an infinite number of experiences that we can never really completely understand. I do know that the opportunity that you give these children is tremendous. It's an opportunity that I sincerely thank you for giving my child. It means so much to my family and it means so much to Carl. So, you know, with that said, that's coming from my mom who helped Carl through this process. But all the people in this organization, 
from Mo to Bubbles to every person that's been here all the time, to the people that do this camp and give back and the kids in this camp, I say thank you for what you do. Because what you've done is give everybody a special opportunity to feel special when that is not always given in our world today. 